play. There's a place at centre back for Eric Abidal. Maxwell continues at left back. That means it's Alves, Puyol, Abidal, and Maxwell at the back. Familiar looking midfield and an all Spanish midfield. Iniesta, Xavi, and Busquets up front. Pedro on the right, Villa on the left and Leo Messi as what's always known in Spain as a falso nueve, a false number nine. He will have license to move all over the pitch to get involved in the play as much as he likes and of course to score goals. Bear in mind that Leo Messi has now scored a quite stunning 64 goals in 64 games. He scored six competitive games now, Leo Messi. Scored against Copenhagen, starting off at Sevilla, Copenhagen again, Getafe and Ceuta in the cup in midweek. For Villarreal, Ankel, Marchena, Musaccio and Cap de Vila at the back. Bruno with Borja Valero in midfield. Cani and Cathola on either wing, but both will come inside. And that fantastic partnership up front. Two guys that Pep Guardiola described as daggers, men who can cut right to your heart. Giuseppe Rossi, Sunday, Spain, and of course from Barcelona's point of view, the big one is Real Madrid's trip to Gijón to face Sporting. But first things first, Barcelona, if they want to keep the pressure up on Real Madrid and climb above them, at least for tonight, they have to beat Villarreal. And that is, without any doubt at all, easier said than done. That said, Barcelona are playing wonderfully well right now. And Lopez makes a save. Couldn't really ask Messi to do anything else. He kept it down, he kept it in the corner. Lopez was quickly across to make the save. Messi couldn't quite reach the follow-up. Of Angel, the ball was from Xavi, then from Iniesta. Marcelli, in fact, it was. Villa stepped away from him, really nicely taken. David Villa gives Barcelona the lead. Decision. Well, it's not even close. When the ball was played, it must be virtually impossible for a linesman to see that properly. Here's Nilmar. Nilmar into the area. Nilmar's going to score off the post. He has scored. Brilliant goal for Villarreal. Well, immediately after Barcelona felt that they had a second. Villarreal have a first, it's 1-1, one, one, and what a game this is looking like being. What a game this is. Garrido and Guardiola having words with each other. Guardiola's having words with the fourth official. Xavi is saying something to the linesman, uh, to the referee, about saying something to someone. And Garrido, I think, is saying, I've had enough of the talk. Presumably he means from Pep Guardiola. Well, Nilmar's got the goal. In off the post. Lovely footwork from Nilmar. Really, really good goal from Nilmar. Really good goal. In off the post. So much pace. Valdez came out. Nilmar did well just to clip it over him. Villarreal back in the game. Very difficult this one for the Barcelona keeper. It is Rossi. Through to Valdez. Valdez gets right and he held on to the ball as well. Just equally as important as reaching it. If Diego Lopez will feel that he was always a good yard off the post and he was never going to be caught by that. Well, Diego Lopez just taken a goal kick which doesn't get out. Brilliant, brilliant goal that is. It's a brilliant goal from Leo Messi. He took the free kick quickly, he played the 1-2 and again with Pedro into the area. And the angle didn't really seem to be on for him to finish it, but Leo Messi certainly did finish it. No, I'm not really sure what the complaint is. Let's see if we can see here. Messi to Pedro, back to Pedro, back to Messi. And how about that for a finish? It's an absolutely brilliant goal from Leo Messi. This guy's record is just silly. 
In the year 2009, Leo Messi has now scored 50 goals, 48 with Barcelona, sorry, 49 now with Barcelona, one with Argentina. The closest player to him in the world is Suarez with 31 for Ajax and seven for Uruguay, 38 goals. In other words, he's 12 behind Leo Messi. It's absolutely stunning with Barcelona in 2010. This is Messi's 46th game. He scored 49 goals. Tomorrow against Sport Gijon. Pedro got the ball. Pedro's ball into the box. Well, Messi does look offside. What I don't know is if there's a final touch from the defender. From Cap de Vila. Messi finishes it off. It's difficult to tell for sure, but it, it, it could be offside. And certainly I think that's what Villarreal think. Leo Messi scores again. Leo Messi climbs to 10 goals in his last nine La Liga games. Sorry, in nine La Liga games. A quite extraordinary run now of 11 goals in his last seven games in which he scored in every single one of them at least once. And Guardiola has been under pressure. His side has been under pressure. But the final whistle goes on what's been a really superb football match. Villarreal came to the Camp Nou with the intention of proving that it's not a two-horse race. In the end, Barcelona won, and maybe it will be a two-horse race at the top of the table between Barcelona and Real Madrid. But the third horse is no nag. The third horse is a thoroughbred too. Villarreal have played wonderfully well tonight. They've made life very, very difficult for Barcelona. But Barcelona have a certain Lionel Messi playing for them. It's one of those games where you could go for the sides, and almost everybody you pick out, you'd say, has played very, very well indeed. Santi Cazola was superb, Borja Valero was excellent, Bruno Soriano was excellent, Andres Iniesta, Xavi Hernandez, Leo Messi, the kind of brilliance we've come to expect from them. It's been a wonderful night at the Camp Nou. Barcelona took the lead with a brilliant opening goal from David Villa after 21 minutes. 26 minutes in, Neymar scored a...